Hi, everybody. Um, I was here earlier this week talking about my process, and I thought today that I could show you a little bit about what I do. I want to talk about um, how I take a specific emotion or something that I want to cultivate and bring it into a piece. So I'm going to talk through that today while I'm making. Um, it's a fun Friday. Why not? Let's paint. Um, I figured I would start with something that is personal for me. So when I do a commission or I work with someone, I want to talk with them to figure out something that they want to cultivate. And for me, in the current climate and just in general, something that I want to aspire to is to be more open. I want to be open to conversations with people that maybe don't necessarily agree with me or maybe just experiences I haven't had yet. So the thing that I want to bring into this piece today is openness. So I am going to um, start creating. I usually like to think about what does openness feel like, look like to me. Um, sometimes I will listen to uh, a song or maybe watch a video, um, think about some imagery that comes to mind. So um, I can't do music and stuff on here because it's live and I don't have copyrights, but that's usually something I do ahead of time. So um, thinking about openness, I would definitely want to bring in elements of um, feeling expansive, um, things like um, atmospheric type textures. Um, it's going to be on the light, bright side. It's going to be open. It's going to be expanding and growing. Um, so I'm going to bring in some bright colors today. Uh, it's going to be on the white end of the spectrum. So let's get going. With openness, I also tend to um, start my pieces before I even add any paint, start putting marks down. Um, when I started bringing in different types of materials to my painting, it really helped me feel like I was having fun and playing around and just trying new things. It brought in a lot more motion and it's just fun to scribble sometimes. So with openness, I really want this to kind of feel like it's coming from a center and really just moving out. Um, a lot of times when I'm creating things, if you know my style, I tend to hang out in the uh, natural floral world because I think nature just has so much to teach us all the time. It's just so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to start with maybe somewhere in the center and then just open. We're just going to go out. It's going to be huge. We're just going to be growing and just all the new experiences, all the things that can come with being open to, to adventure and life, all of that. I like bringing in a little bit of color. Got some bright colored pencils here and actually these are watercolor pencils so they'll be fun and they'll really like um, melt into the painting once it starts getting wet. But it brings in a lot of texture and some color. It's very fun. Um, I like even bringing in some pastels. These are prism colors. They're the best. Um, just really adding some richness, some color here. I'll let you take a look there. It's a little bit hard to see some of this texture at this point, but we'll just add some more. And then I start getting going on my paint. Um, I like starting with a little bit of white to just get, get some edges in there. You can't actually see it at the moment. Oh, got dog hair is always in there. And then happy accidents because you know we're going to bob rasa today. Um, it just helps blend colors in better. When I start with a little bit of white, it just kind of helps add some, uh, some richness to it right away so it's not straight canvas. Paint on canvas where it starts getting that like speckly look that sometimes can drive me crazy. Bringing in a lot of color today. It's openness. We are open to this. It's very fun. I like this gold that's coming in here. It's very rich. That's white. Love me the white. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of making like little crisscrossy strokes because openness has a lot of movement. There's a lot going on as it's moving up and out. So we're going to pull it. We're going to pull color up and out. Really kind of add some movement to it as it's going. I'm going to blend in here. This is definitely a very um, bright, colorful, floral color palette. But since this is my openness and I'm painting something that I want to cultivate, I get to choose the colors, and I like these bright colors. They are fun. And they add a lot of richness and depth. This is a base layer, so it's definitely going to be toned down a little bit, but I like kind of adding a lot of color underneath and then bringing in tones that neutral tones and things that will tone it back down to, to layer on top. 
that kind of makes it less like in your face all the time. But um, I think that base layers can really add a lot of interest and depth when you start with them first. And then sometimes I like to come in here and I've got my fun little lavender pencil and pull through the paint. I don't know if you can see that very well. This is my first time painting live, so getting the hang of what you guys can see and what you can't, and we will adjust as needed because, you know, we're all learning, right? That's the fun of Fridays and painting live. Yeah, so it adds a little bit more texture, and then when you pull through the paint, it, it just adds some depth and actually kind of cuts back into the canvas, so you can see it through there, but it's very, very fun. And then bringing in more white to help blend some colors and add some depth and richness. Um, if you're just joining me, hi everyone who's here. Hi, happy Friday. Um, I am showing an example of how I would take something that I would be working with someone to help cultivate if we were to have a one-on-one -on -one session where they want to cultivate a specific emotion or something in their life so they just want to be I want to be more of that person I want to get back to being more of that person um, we would choose an emotion and I would help visualize that for them so I chose openness today because that's something that I, I want to be the type of person who's open open to new um, conversations new relationships new people new experiences so I'm going to create this piece to remind me so that when I see it every day hanging on my wall, I remember why I created it. It's helping me remember to be more open because that's the type of person I want to cultivate. So we're coming in and kind of blending some of these colors. They're very fun. It's also very summery because it's a lovely sunny day here in Chicago. I'm hoping everyone's having a great Friday. I feel very Bob Ross right now. It's very fun. Hi, everyone. All right, adding some more white in here because white really does kind of add some, some blending and some depth. I like how it's kind of all coming together into this fun, like warm color here. Adding a little bit more tone. And with openness, everything is expanding. It is moving outwards. It's got some airiness to it. So I'm trying to kind of like dust these colors in and blend them softly so they've got very fuzzy edges. Kind of pulling some of these things in. I like this blue next to this orange because those are complementary colors, um, but they are similar in tone. So it's not it's not bears blue and orange. Um, it's kind of in the warm range so that they can be near each other and they can vibrate and move without being um, garish or obnoxious and not turning into like a gray brown black mess that contrary or complementary colors can tend to do. Mm -hmm. This is very fun. Just filling this guy in. Base layers are very fun. They really are where all the action is at first. Um, I feel like they uh, set the tone for the rest of the piece. They add a lot of richness and vibrance. I like painting my edges because it just makes it always feel a little bit more finished. So I like always coming around and considering what's going on over there on the edges. Oh, happy tree Bob Rasta. And I use a ton of white and I actually might run out. I need to make sure I'm thinking about how much white I need. <laughs> so when I'm talking to people during a commission work, I definitely want to find out what are the areas of their lives where they're excited? What are they happy about? Um, what are they looking forward to? And then what areas would they really like to focus on um, reminding themselves of? If this is a piece that's going to be in their living room, is it about mm, wanting to always let people know that this is a warm space, this is a welcoming space, this is a place where we want people to come visit? We want this to be a space where people can grow. Maybe it is a um, an office. Maybe you have a workspace where you really want to make it come alive with energy and feeling like we're all growing here. This is a space where we want to all hang out. We are learning. We are making cool stuff. Um, so it could also be something like that where we're open. We're open to new ideas. We're open to innovation. It could also be we're open to new family members, new traditions. I am bringing in a bit more pastel. 
that's always fun once it gets wet. It kind of adds this really rich depth to it. I'm adding in some green because it adds a nice complement. It's a little bit brighter. And can add some softness to some of these edges. It's fun to kind of blend it in right there. And I love getting painting. That's the best part. And I am just going to fill in some of these edges. This is a base layer for a piece. I would um, probably come in with at least one or two other layers to help um, kind of maybe tone it down or add depth. It's always fun to add more richness and texture to, to a piece. The more um, you can see things, layers and things coming through it, it adds interest um, and depth to it. Similar to kind of like how in a, in a music piece, an orchestra or something, it adds layers and depths when there's different tones, there's different textures, there's different instruments. That's kind of what goes on with when you add multiple layers. Um, so this guy, this first layer is kind of the uh, the big bold. I don't know if that would be considered the uh, drum section. I don't know if Aaron's still on. Hey, Aaron in the drums. Yep, he's our uh, musician in the family and a talented one at that. So yeah. Um, Hi everyone who's joined, happy Friday. Um, I was talking earlier about how as I'm creating this piece, I am trying to create something that will write, remind me personally of being open, of openness, of growing, of expanding my experiences, maybe my conversations. I found that when I am willing to even just be open to a conversation, um, friendships came out of it or at least I gave it a chance. So I think that there is definitely always more opportunity for that in life. So this is going to a piece that be a piece for me that reminds me of my desire to remain open. It's an emotion that I want to cultivate in myself, or I suppose a practice that I want to cultivate. I'm going to bring in some white pastel here. This guy is going to be rich and bold because I think openness does take bravery. You kind of have to be big and bold. I'm going to add some texture in here. Sometimes pastel works, sometimes it doesn't. That's always kind of an experiment. And then I just love coming back in and adding that texture. This is just a regular pencil, a uh, EB. Um, and adding some depth. I don't know if you guys can see much of that. I think we're going to work on ability to uh, see the details. But um, this is my first attempt at painting live on a Friday, so I'm definitely going to be doing more of this and explaining how um, it's all tied to my process and uh, the different ways that I can create something and uh, show how I visualize cultivating a specific emotion or something that's part of uh, what you want in your space because I know abstract work can be kind of a, uh, a mushy thing to to connect to how valuable it can be um, having something like this in your space. Um, remembering that uh, openness is something that I want to have part of my life. I'm going to create this piece, this piece that helps me remember that. So uh, thanks for watching me create today. Um, I'll be back soon. Thanks. Have a good Friday. Bye.